Today we're going to talk about locking down swing stoppers. First thing you need to do is raise your lift to storm level. We've already hit the stops, so in order for this lift to go higher, we have to take the cover off to bypass the automatic stops. So I'm going to take the cover off now. You gotta be careful, you don't want to touch any, any of the exposed wires inside the box. But before you do anything, you want to come over to the auto control and move this to off. This way, when you press the relay in, it will only jog the lift. So, what I'm going to use is a, um, a Sharpie because there's, you know, rather than a screwdriver, which is metal, which if you slipped and touched something, you can say you could short, short out the box we're going to use plastic okay so there's two relays this relay controls the um, the lift coming down this relay controls the lift coming up and now you need to watch the the uh, i-beam and the piling pad and get the i-beam to be in the center of the piling pad Okay, so, so now we also need to check the level of the lift. You can look out to the, the piling pad and see that the, the beam is just a little high from the center of the piling pad. So what we're going to do now is lower the back side of the lift to make that about in the center as well. Now that both storm level, we're going to go back to our um, tote and pull out the accessory case and the piling pad washer plates. Each piling pad washer plate has a lanyard on it so you can't drop it in, into the canal, as well as the mounting hardware or attaching it to the piling pad. You, you, you'll find on each piling that there's a eye hook to attach the D-clip to. Inside your accessory case, you're going to find tough gel, which is an anti-seize that's going to help the um, stainless from galling together. So I recommend that we need to put a little bit of this on each one of the thread threads before we uh, tighten it down. As well as a um, three-quarter inch deep socket and an um, adapter for a drill or an impact. Plus extra hardware in case you decide to throw the ones you already provided into the canal. So what I've done is, you know, this is my favorite of course, which is a impact with the deep socket on it. But you can also take the deep socket and attach it to a ratchet to lock, to lock it down. And two other tools that I like are a, um, a ratchet that actually has a through, so the, the nut the bolt will go right through the ratchet and you can turn it. And I also like this on a spinner, I call it a spinner wrench. And again the whole bolt can go right through the, through the ratchet. Okay, so I'm going to climb down a float and start locking the boat down. The thing you want to do is take your hardware off the uh, D-clip. I'm just going to set it on the beam here. And then clip your D-clip to your eye hook, that way this can't fall into the canal. We're going to set that aside. We've got a safety pin that keeps this U-bolt from accidentally swinging out in front of us. So that you got to make sure that that's in when you, once you unlock this system. But in the meantime, we're going to take it out and swing this forward. Now we're going to put some, an some additional anti-seize on these threads. Okay, so we're, so we're going to add some anti-seize to these threads, so we're just going to put some anti-seize across the top of these threads. And the, bolt, the nut will work it, work, it, work it in. And you 
you put your washer on and your locking nut. So, our goal here is we want to tighten this down just enough so it just starts touching the I beam, but not really pushing it in the beam towards the, the piling. And when you put hardware on, you want to switch back and forth between both sides as you um, tighten it down. Now it's just starting. It's just starting to touch the, the beam. And what we do is when we install the system, we leave a, a gap between the I beam and the piling pad um, on both sides. So if we push this all the way in. This gap then would, would be on the other side. It would be more, it'd be harder to get the bolt started. So what we do is we, we get it started just a little bit on this side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out on the outside and lock that side all the way in and then come back here. So we're gonna go ahead and move to the um, outside now. Now that we've partially locked down both the um, dock side piling pads, we're gonna come out to the canal side. We're, we're gonna take our safety pin out Swing our U-bolt over and we're going to put a little bit more anti-seize on that. Okay. Now that this is anti-seized, we are going to do the same thing with the um, piling pad washer plate. Take off the hardware. Set, set the hardware up on the, on the edge of the beam. And we're going to go ahead and clip this right away to the, the eye hook so this can't fall into the canal. And then we can put this onto the um, piling, piling pad. I'm going to put a washer on. I'm going to put the other washer on. I'm going to put our lock nuts on. Now on this side I'm going to go ahead and use my impact to drive it on. And even with an impact, you're going to make sure you, or especially with an impact, you're going to make sure that you switch back and forth between the two nuts. Okay, once it's all the way locked down, you'll see that there's no gap between the I-beam and the piling pad. All three pieces are flush up against each other. And this side is now locked in. Now that we've done the stern canal side, we will go and do the bow canal side. And then we can go back to the, the dock side to finish up there. Now that we've locked down both the canal side piling pads, we're back on the dock side to finish closing this gap. So again, I've switched back to using just the ratchet to show that you can do it with the ratchet. And again, you want to keep switching between the two, the two nuts. Okay. So we are. Okay. You can 
can see you can see how the, the I-beam is flush against the, the pilot cloud as well as the pilot cloud washer plate. There's no gaps between the three pieces. Now you do this on the bow piling pad and your lift will be fully locked down. Okay, once the lift is unlocked, one of the key things to remember is when you swing these U-bolts over, you've got these safety pins that you're gonna put slide just in front of the, the U-bolt. That'll keep this U-bolt from accidentally swinging forward and getting damaged by the swing stopper's I-beam. Well, that completes our swing stoppers lockdown video. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us, or you should also find a, some written instructions inside your yellow tote. Thanks for watching.